And uh, I would like to say sorry in advance because my speech today can be a bit hectic uh, because during the whole night um, my nose was running faster than the same book. <laughs> and uh, maybe some of my messages will, will be troubled. But please try to follow. And uh, today, uh, I'm waiting for you. Okay. Okay, thank you. So uh, I don't, uh, so small remark, I didn't really like this uh, particular form because you're seeing like an uh, S7 priority, you know, uh, <laughs> like hiding from me, you know, in his eyes and so on. <laughs> but perfect, a perfect place for students. You can hide and do like, stuff there on your mobile phones, maybe play in Kahoot or something. Yeah. <laughs> in the team. Uh, but uh, today, actually, is a serious uh, seeing so many bright uh, hands, so many sparkling uh, eyes, and so many ardent hearts uh, with teaching, with inspiring, and so on. I would like to give a talk about beauty, expertise, and the future for us and our students. And uh, first of all, I would ask you to join me with uh, sharing one of my impressions uh, and watch a small, small video. Okay? You're explaining how it all works. Each meeting is composed of two layers, and they have to pull everything and fix the, the, upper, the lower one, what is a heavy thing, and then they form the upper layer, and they will insert the fabric here. So, whatever is the fabric, it's always the same process. So, the second step is then to prepare the fabric. The fabric. Yeah. And putting the fabric more or less difficult because some fabric like uh, muslin are very light and uh, they have to blow on it because it moves so one thing which is very important is to have parallel yeah parallel aligned in sphere aligned yes so this is what he's cutting at yes because if the, if the fabric is only torn uh, the trim is the is the form so the second layer is on and has to match exactly. So you see, you can imagine that the muslin is very light and yeah. it's moving, so I'm always afraid that they are not afraid, they just do <laughs> But I would be afraid right. that the muslin has moved because yeah. uh, when the fabric is heavy, it seems to be easier. And it isn't. So usually we, we pleat in the morning and we put the open uh, in the afternoon. You pleat in the morning and you bake and, in the afternoon. Yeah, and we bake in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> So now that I put the fabric between the two layers, they are going to close the, the mold again uh, as a very beginning, and then the mold with the fabric inside will be put in a tube like this, and we will put the tube in the oven. Uh, I should say that uh, we have a treasure here. The treasure are the molds. Yeah. And uh, the, the thing which is important is to, to be able to to keep this mold because it's so this is, this is a mold which has been used to, to get this mold. Is that from the Chanel yeah, Marcia? Chanel, yeah. This is the same mold, you know? But it shows so differently because it's yes, a different Yes, because color. the fabric is different. It's really, really incredible. <clears throat> Handicraft. Handicraft. So some things which you do with your hands, yeah? Any addition to that? 
nothing to get just things you do with your hands, yeah? Yeah, that's right. 
uh, the level was CPE, proficiency level, because actually the first exam was intended to, for teachers, non-native uh, speakers, but who want to perform their subject in Cambridge University. And how successful was this attempt? 100. So you think they all just done absolutely brilliant? No, no, they failed. Yes, actually, absolutely right. Three of them failed <laughs> because uh, exam was. Uh, yes, it was. Of course, it was exam actually prepared. <laughs> the format, yeah, the format is very important. No strategies. McNeil didn't write. Ah, McNeil, McNeil, not Cambridge. Nobody no. had special books for them. Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's New word of the day. Yeah. Craftsmanship, silator, and logish. Great. Some Murtian speech and logish. <laughs> So actually, yes, three of them failed because the exam was really long. It was about 12 hours. 12 hours. It was, the first part was translation from English to German and French. The second, two and a half hours. Uh, the second part was, uh, was the reverse. And again, our third part is says, yes. Lead English, lead which is English and singing. But with this time, within 100 years, it's all progressed. And uh, the team of experts, uh, they actually made a huge leap of uh, improving the exam. And now I would like to show you, uh, visualize it, how they actually did it. And are to read it right now. Well, we are sitting here enjoying our small company. They are still doing something for us and for our students. Yes? <coughs> the Cambridge English Scale is the new and enhanced way we will be reporting results for some of our exams from 2015. It builds on the way we currently report results and is based on many years of research. It will provide simpler, clearer and more detailed results. What is the Cambridge English Scale? The Cambridge English Scale is a range of scores used to report results for Cambridge English exams. You may be familiar with the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, or CEFR. It is the international standard for describing ability in languages and is a broad reference scale of language proficiency. The Cambridge English scale is designed to complement the CEFR. The difference is that the scale gives a more detailed result than the CEFR alone. See how both of these candidates are at level B2, but their scores on the scale show that one has a higher level of English than the other. Results for almost all Cambridge English exams will be reported on the Cambridge English Scale, starting with Cambridge English First, including First for Schools, Cambridge English Advanced, and Cambridge English Proficiency. IELTS is mapped to, but will not be reported on the Cambridge English Scale. Our exams are focused on different levels of the CEFR, and they are mapped to particular points on the scale. No. Actually, the first thing that was done is about the scale. So you already uh, know about this common European framework, mm -hmm. and now it is assisted with our a special Cambridge English scale, which is the more improved and advanced way of uh, of getting the results. So to uh, improve the exams, you should improve uh, priorities and. Um, actually the criteria of how to process. And now it is a more clear, uh, you can uh, more clearly um, see the results of your students. Now uh, with this um, tw uh, tw 240 um, 
points which you have for every particular skill which is tested. And uh, you've noticed that uh, the first uh, level that was tested was, was tested was the proficiency level. But now we've got exams uh, from for very small kids, for six years old, and uh, and up for eternity. Yes. Uh, so many people ask. Uh, many many parents ask, and uh, sometimes teachers. Why shall we so bring these toddlers to the exam room? What, what, what is the reason? And they see it some, some kind of that we are doing while testing them some kind of the thing. You can't what? I can't swim. How old are you? Six. <laughs> no, Tim, he can't swim. Well, you go get it. I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the huge uh, 
progress in Cambridge English exams so happened uh, previous year. So now the most important point is that uh, young learners' exams have changed. So uh, with the, the new standards, you can um, get some knowledge about that uh, on, the, on the website on Cambridge English uh, where actually you can find uh, a lot of samples and very helpful materials for you as teachers. Change not only the exams, but change their new look. Uh, now it is Cambridge Assessment English, which is uh, more convenient maybe for, for, for perception. So don't, don't be afraid that we ch changed a little bit in, in forms. It is the same and it's better. And uh, how can uh, our uh, organization be helpful for you? So uh, for for the test for the testing new students and helping uh, with you building uh, your way through this English language journey to make it successful, uh, we have all the materials. So you can join our Magellan community as an exam center and as a bookstore. Uh, I'm always there to help you to choose the right destination and the right means to help you to overlook your way, to build the right path. Uh, and actually, at the 21st of February, uh, we will have the seminar in our bookshop at Maximilian Kava. So I just try to invite you there, and if you have time, please uh, join us. We will talk about the exams in more precise way. If you have any questions, you can already so organize something. Uh, and what um, what are the Cambridge, uh, Cambridge assessment in the home? So not only exams or books or so learning English. It's it's again more than that. More than can you think that it is. From small steps to big ideas, language is at the heart of who we are. We talk it through, we hear you out, we write the words, we Language is at the heart of who we are. We talk it through, we hear you out, we write the words, we read out loud. It's finding the way, exploring new places, discovering new people and making the difference. It's stories to hear, tales to tell, opening doors and opening minds. Don't just write, communicate. Don't just talk, discuss, debate. Announce yourself, make a noise, speak your mind, and prove your skills to the world. So spread your wings, expand your horizons. It's a big world out there, and this is your journey. With us, you'll be inspired, you'll be supported, you'll be your best. This is more than learning English. These are your hopes and dreams. We are Cambridge Assessment English, and we're here for every learner, every step of the way. On Maxima Gorkova, don't deny. So please debate and bring your dreams to us anytime when we work from 10 to 7. Except Sunday. <laughs> okay. okay, so thank you very much. If you have any questions about the sessions or our future trainings and so on, so please come to me and I will give you a personalized okay. Thank you.